what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel so uh if you've been following us over on instagram you've been seeing how much i've been like gloating over our lawn and our yard and a lot of people are asking me like you know what seed did you use what did you do to make it look the way it does and all that kind of stuff and uh, i'm just going to tell you i apologize if there's any extra noise in the background dominion energy is putting a pipeline through our property and they're taking forever so that's what you're hearing but uh let me show you the grass so that you can make the determination if you want to continue to watch this video but the lawn looks pretty good so uh, let me show you so here's our lawn right here it's looking pretty damn good i'm letting it go on the hill here just to let it go to seed so that we can start helping out this area down here but it's real nice it's a uh, k31 fescue i planted it in the fall um I had put this same grass seed down in the springtime last year and I had gotten the seed from Tractor Supply, I believe that's, it was either Tractor Supply or Lowe's. I put it down in March and uh, it, it did pretty well. We were pretty stoked like that we had grass grown because this was just red clay. Um, and then the summertime came around, we ran meat chickens on this area and the grass just didn't work out. So when the fall came around, I got on the tractor and I ripped everything up and if I have footage of any of this I'll put it on here so you know just looking at my face but I ripped this all up so this was all red clay I made it so that this hill wasn't so steep this was pretty steep if, if you've been following us following along with us and seen the yard since we moved in uh, there's been a lot of work so comes all the way over here and the only other product that I've used on it is triple 17 fertilizer I put an application down right when I seeded then again when I seeded in September so then again in November and then I put one application down in the spring and four four twenty pound bags for I mean this entire area and uh, it was not expensive so that's it not any no weed killer no lime no nothing extra like that um, and you can see on me, I mean, it's thick. It looks good. Are there weeds within it? Yeah. Do we give a No, because our chickens and our goats run on here and we don't care. If it's green, cool. It, this could be all clover or all Bermuda grass. I don't care as long as it's green and it looks nice and it does. We can run on it. It feels good on your feet. Uh, and then as we go through, we just pick out the sticks and all this kind of stuff. But, uh, the only thing that was a lot of work was watering it when I first put the seed down. So for almost two weeks straight, I'm really not exaggerating. It was like my full-time job out here watering like three, four times a day. So I'd be in the shop, work on a project, get to a good stopping point, come out, and I was watering the grass and I was doing it all by hand, mainly by hand. I had a few sprinklers helping me out for the most part just with the hose, just spraying it down, making sure it stayed wet. And then it started germinating. I backed off the water a little bit. And then, uh, you know, about a month and a half or so in the fall, the lawn looked great. And then the spring, when it started warming up, it just took off. I'm at the point right now where I'm cutting it every other day. I'm just using a, uh, I think it's a 20 or 22 inch maybe push mower. It's a Toro push mower. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I haven't even. You can, you can tell here, my blades, I've never sharpened the blades on my lawnmower. So you can tell if you look closely at the grass. But um, I'm looking for the lazy man's lawn, and this is it. So I put in a lot of work up front with the watering. But other than that, it just, it maintains itself. I just keep it cut, and, uh, you know, I get all sticks and all that junk off of it whenever I'm walking around. But I am not crazy about my lawn. I'm not putting every product under the sun under it because we can't we got so many animals we got our little girl running out here so uh, we're, we try to go with the minimum amount of chemicals or any product on here so it was literally k31 seed that in the fall i got it from a dealer a local like um grain and fertilizer company and it was way better same like packaging but the seed did look different and uh so maybe if you've got somebody else other than a big box store near you try to get your seed from there uh, but the seed in triple 17.
and that's it. And in the fall, I'll core aerate and overseed. But other than that, I don't really plan on doing anything else. Maybe some dethatching once in a while if it needs it. Uh, but it looks really good. And next up will be a DIY irrigation system because we don't have any irrigation out here. So I'm thinking about getting some separate heads that I can put on T-posts kind of along the perimeter here and have it shoot back towards the house because we're on well water here. We've, I mean, it stays wet. We've got, I think, some springs underneath the ground and everything. So uh, we can do that. But that's next because I know summertime, it's it's going to do its take its toll on this lawn. Luckily, in the morning, we get a decent amount of shade from this tree line. And then in the afternoon, we actually get shade from the house out here. So the only portion that kind of gets beat down, and you can, you can tell it a little bit because it's a little less green, is like right here. This little strip where there's not a whole lot of trees will get a lot of sun. But other than that, stoked on the lawn. Everybody else is stoked on it too. On Instagram we appreciate it uh, I'm trying to get a sponsorship with some company to get me some real lawn equipment out here because my little push mower is uh, seen better days I don't do any edging any weed eating nothing none of that I'm telling y'all this is this is a lazy man's lawn and that's just how I do my beekeeping too but just in case you don't believe me this is what I'm rocking I got it when we got our first house. I've used it to mow that lawn. I use it as like a brush hog sometimes and I'll just like take it in here and knock some of this stuff down. That's how I roll with the lawn care, but it does look awesome. So there it is, no secret. You just gotta put in some time up front, stay diligent with it and then uh, cut it and water it when it needs it. And just do it like that. You ain't gotta be crazy about it. But you do have to dedicate some time. It's not going to just magically happen on its own. So uh, that's all I got. Hopefully I found some footage and it wasn't just me rambling. But if it was just me rambling, that's what you get. So uh, yeah, that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. We appreciate the support. Uh, share this video with any of your friends or family that might be in the lawn equipment industry that might want to sponsor Lazy Lab Acres and get their equipment featured out here and in other videos, that kind of deal. Because we're open. We're open to it for sure. So uh, until next time, we'll see you. I just got done beekeeping too, by the way. I got stung a couple times, but that's why I'm a little sweaty. We'll see you. Amy Lou's about to wake up from a nap.